understand and talk about mental health awareness. Jenny Cornell, a behavioral health supervisor from Northland Health Centers, is here to tell us more. Thank you so much, Jenny, for coming in and yes. talking about us. Um, so Mental Health Awareness Month, what is it that we can do to make, I feel like it's a topic that's hard to bring up to your friends and to your family because right. it's very, very personal. What's the best way that we can bring it up just to talk about it? I think one of the best ways is just to be open and honest with that. If that's, I mean, we all have, not all of us are gonna struggle with mental illness, mm -hmm. but we all have mental health. Yeah. So we're all gonna go through taxing times, stressful things, things like that. So if we just start a segue with times that we've struggled with or we wanna share, instead of holding it in, encapsulating it all the time, mm -hmm. I mean, of course, time and place for everything, yeah. right, of sharing yeah. that. But I think that's where it begins, is first by us maybe sharing a little something that we struggled through, because I think there's a lot of commonalities mm -hmm. that we can do. And the more that we're open about it, the more that we talk about it, the more that others might be willing to also share that and mm -hmm. know that it's get rid of that taboo feeling, yeah. that stigma associated with it. Yeah, and to understand each other and share a little bit of your, your personal story can, can go a long way and help other people open up and maybe give them some ideas about how to take care of themselves. Yes, yeah, because self-care and self-compassion are two of the most important things we can do to take care of our mental health. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that we've talked about previously before with mindfulness or exercising or things of that nature that can really help us promote our own mental health. Mm -hmm. So really mental health is for everybody of trying to help take care of ourselves. No one we're taxed, no one we're strained. You know, the time of the seasons change. You know, in the Midwest, we're blessed with that. Mm -hmm. But some people may think it's a curse <laughs> <laughs> as well. But it's taxing on the system because our body has to also adjust to it. And when our body adjusts, our mind needs to adjust. And Mm -hmm. We always we will account for the body of more coats, more yep. hats, you know, keep ourselves, but we don't always account for adjustments of our mental health, our well-being that way of more time, more rest, or connecting with more people, getting out there and talking about different things. And there's many different ways that people can do that by being involved in the community, getting out and just finding research, going to the library and picking up a good book. I mean, there's mm -hmm. several different books of there. If you're just curious and you want to learn a little something without like totally committing yourself yeah. into like a cause, yeah. try a book, you yeah. know, um, of just anything that's you kind of interest or ask a friend about a book that they've read or have has been helpful for them, yeah. but it can just that awareness, increasing yeah. that knowledge and that education because mental health is constantly changing the science of what we're doing, how we're treating it, how we're addressing it. It's it's changed so much back to the days when Freud first yeah. came out. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right? And now there's so many different things that we do and so many different treatment modalities and it just changes and we're constantly learning about the brain and our own mental health. Yeah, I love that analogy that you made about, you know, the seasons change, we put more coats on and we really take care of ourselves in a physical way. We yeah. encourage people to get to the gym. This is another way that that you can take care of yourself. Yes. It's just it has to be one of those things that you that you do uh, just to you know get by in life and it's it's not nothing yeah. to be ashamed of or embarrassed about. It's something that everybody struggles with at one point in yeah. their life. For our total physical health, mm -hmm. that includes our mental health consideration mm -hmm. too. So that extra time of that self-care, just being compassionate for ourselves can be a portion of that. Just like diet and exercise or drinking enough water. Mm -hmm. We also want to take those times where we can really take care of ourselves. Absolutely. Um, something else that, you know, since we're having these conversations with, you know, friends and family, something to be aware of is how much your words can affect people that's another way that we can yes. kind of be more mindful in this month of october about yeah the i mean understanding how you want to word something we, we are our own people mm -hmm. right it's not an anxious person it might be a person with anxiety mm -hmm. you know things of that nature because we are we don't want our mental health to define who we are because mm -hmm. that we are more than our mental health mm -hmm. we were such complex beings that just how we feel or we think isn't always our totality of who we are as a person mm -hmm. so we want to recognize the person first and yeah. then state the facts with it absolutely as you're having these conversations still be mindful you know have these you know conversations with a positive pleasant outlook um, yeah. another thing you brought up was reading books asking people about yes. reading so increasing our literacy over this month is something that we need to keep in, in mind too uh, does that mean reading medical journals are these like books that are hard to understand or you know what do, what do we do there I think that I mean Taylor to what your preference is. Mm -hmm. If you want to read the medical journals, you know, or yep. you want to fall asleep at night, you know? <laughs> yes. I don't 
no, whatever your preference <laughs> is. Yeah. You know, I'd say suit it to what is your preference. Mm -hmm. There are a wide range of books out there with different reading types. You know, it's the more casual inflection of sharing personal journeys mm -hmm. or how they struggled with something, how they overcame things. Or there could be more of the psychoeducational, this is what this is and this is how this works and how we, how we do that, the how, what, who, where, when mm -hmm. kind of approach to it. So it's really, there's no right or wrong. Just pick what suits your What's needs. What's best for you. Excellent. Mm -hmm. I love that. All right, Jenny. Well, there's many more ways that we can yes. practice uh, and increase our knowledge during Mental Health Awareness Month. Uh, if somebody has more questions and they want to get a hold of you, we have some information on the screen of how they can do that. Uh, what's your favorite thing about Mental Health Month? Uh, just knowing it's okay to not be okay. Okay. I love mm -hmm. that. Those are great words to leave with. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for joining us.